Alright guys, uh, a quick video here to uh, show you my level that I created. It's not fully functional yet, I just started working on it, um, was it yesterday, two days ago or something? So, uh, I don't expect much because I don't, well, actually I do expect a lot from myself, so. Ah, hold on here. Okay, so here we go. Uh, basically you scroll around the level with the... Um, uh, w A S D keys. Okay, so right now I'm in tile mode. Uh, F1 goes to tile mode. F2 goes to level object mode. So in tile mode, by default you're in tile delete mode. So I can delete tiles right there. And using the left and right keys, I can switch the uh, the selected tile. As you can see on the bottom left. So click to place or hold. Right. Uh left click obviously will delete the tiles. And if you're on an empty tile, uh as in tile zero, right click will left click will delete the tile. Uh these are level objects so you can't really edit them yet. Um so yeah, that's I've done the tile part. Uh, I've only made it one layer so far. So as you can see, I can't edit the other layers. I can only edit layer, the second layer, the middle layer. I can't edit the uh, left, I mean the behind or the front layer. But it's only one day of coding, so don't really, you know. Um, second mode is F2, which is level objects, as you can see, level object tiles. So you can go to... Uh, highlighting mode, which you can highlight level objects. Can't really do anything <laughs> with it, but it basically highlights whatever level object you're on. Okay, second one is uh, scrolling through level objects. So obviously, yeah, I didn't tell you guys, I have this crate as well. It's a little crate that I just ripped off the net. So you, can, you can't really place the level objects anywhere, um, but yeah, you can, you can move them around and stuff. So that's it. That's pretty much my level editor right now. Um, and yeah, there's a cute little sample here of your appropriate level object. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've done so far. Um, I don't know when I'm going to finish this. Uh, I need this though because editing levels from a text file is a nightmare and placing these level objects, finding the exact pixel to place it on is really annoying. So I would rather have an automated system to do it. Um, so this is the same level that uh, we played. So if I hit F5, it saves. It saves to a predetermined location. Um, so when I exit and I go to saved levels, there it is, my saved level. Obviously, there's no level objects at the at the bottom because I haven't programmed it to save as level objects yet, but it basically does all the tile work for me, so that's certainly very helpful. Uh, I plan to do a lot of work on my uh, level editor. It's part of my passion as well, to be able to create something to create the stuff that I want to create, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, so that's the level editor so far. Um, not too much, pretty nice uh, to do in like two days. So uh, yeah, just to let you guys know, um, the game has taken me a month to write. Uh, I've also been learning C Sharp ever since I started writing the game, so um hasn't been too long, actually. I've only been working on this for about a month and a few days, even less, I think. Um, C Sharp's really easy, wonderful, wonderful language to learn. Much slower than C++, but I feel more safe and secure in C Sharp. Um, IntelliSense for visual C Sharp is brilliant. It you hardly have to type in stuff. Once you've typed it in once, it pretty much finishes everything for you. So it makes programming so much easier. It lets you focus on the the structure and what you want to program instead of, you know, dealing with all the unnecessary nonsense. Um, you know, I'm not dissing C because I love C and it's one of the most powerful professional languages out there right now. But uh, C Sharp is definitely the way I want to go. Uh, definitely suits my personality really well. Um, 
don't know what I can show you guys. That's it, I think. Uh, the tools I used are Photoshop, ripped sprites from the net, although most of the tiles I've done myself. Um, a lot of the graphics I've done myself, or I've ripped sprites and f completely revamped them. Um, almost all the code is, is mine. Um, the whole concept of having different screens was actually taken from phstudios.com. Uh, he's the guy who does the paddles tutorial. Thank you very much. You've really helped me make a good game, uh, make a good game system. So he uses the concept of game screen. So each, like, you know, the intro screen, uh, the game screen, the editor screen, they're all different screens. So for instance, this is my intro screen, which goes into the menu screen, which goes into the game screen. So that's not my idea, it's his idea, which I've completely revamped and changed to suit me. Uh, GUI is completely mine. Uh, the particle system you guys see here, which I haven't used in this game, uh, is from the XNA website, the 2D uh, starter de uh, starter tutorial that they give you. Uh, but I have my own particle system, the debris class, right here. It's basically a particle system. That's it right there. So yeah, loads of classes. I like to neatly place everything into uh, different objects. This is my like main weapon class. Okay, it defines all the things for all the weapons. Uh, and then here are the collection of my weapons: the AK, the beam, the pistol, the rocket launcher, shotgun, energy sword, hand grenade, blah 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 blah. Munitions, you know, stuff like uh, bullets, grenades, pellets, rockets, damage areas. Uh, level objects, items, uh, yeah. So that's that, I guess. Animated sprite is one of my simpler classes. It's used for the the um, the shrapnel effect when a bullet hits a hits a tile. Uh, blood splatter uh, is like a single object, and there's you know for each bullet that hits a bad guy or or, or, or the player. There's 20 blood splatters created, so there's loads of these objects flying all over the place everywhere. Uh, yeah, so that's that, guys. Um, actually, no, no, the, this blood splatter is not used. This is the old blood splatter, actually. Uh, the new blood splatter is actually um, an altered version of the debris class. I just showed you. Anyways, I'm yapping on too much. Uh, I'm just really happy that I finally got to make this video. And thanks for watching, guys. Please watch all three videos uh, from start to finish to really see where I've come so far. Uh, and yeah, I've done a great job, if I do say so myself. Please leave comments. Um, and most most of all, what I want to see is people making their own games and putting them on YouTube and sharing their ideas and uh, even making tutorials. I haven't had much time to make a tutorial. I want to, eventually. Um, and I would love to collaborate with other people uh, mostly artists, really, and maybe even sound uh, specialists, because I haven't got sound in this game yet, uh, and I want to get a lot of nice art in this game. I want lots of cool-looking level objects, lots of cool trees, houses, as I said before, uh, and some new cool tiles. And if someone wants to help me with my player and my enemies, I would love that. I think I've done a great job so far, but it could use a little bit of touching up, maybe some shading or something. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching, guys. Um, look forward to hearing your comments, and please subscribe and such. Thank you very much. I hope to put on uh, a new update as soon as possible. Take care, guys. Bye.